think butterfly specimen art is cool, but the idea of having dead butterflies on my wall is kind of sad. So in this video, I want to show you some ideas on how you can achieve the same look by using handmade butterflies. For this project, I wanted to try out some different frame options. Here's one that I had with a picture of me and my boyfriend riding a bicycle. Just kidding, these are models and they came with the frame that I bought from Zulily. I shopped around and found so many frames on Zulily's website and I went with these two, this yellow one that is 8x10 and this shadow box one that is also 8x10. While I was shopping on this website, it's pretty hard not to check out all the other stuff that they have. Knowing my sketchbook obsession, I somehow found my way to these journals and I saw this silicone journal which you can snap little letters on and I was like, yes, I need this in my life. So I got this as well. They have such a unique variety of things for sale and they post new things every day, but they're only available for a limited time. So if you do want to shop their site for frames like these, go to their website early in the morning because things will sell out quickly. Just so you know, you do have to sign up in order to shop their website, but it's free and all you have to do is give your email, so it's really not that bad. If you want to check it out and see what they have, go to zoolily.com slash lemon and you will get a 15% off your first purchase because you went to that link. And that's a pretty good deal because it's on top of their already 70% off prices. And I will also include that link in the video description below for you guys. For the yellow frame, all I did was take the glass off and I flipped the lovely stock picture over. And for the shadow box frame, I taped on a light blue piece of paper. To make the butterflies, I actually made a tutorial on how to draw them and you can check that out right here. You can also look online and find photos of butterflies and print those out as well. To save some time and duplicate my artwork, I scanned them in and printed them out in different sizes and colors. Then cut them out one by one. And to give a more realistic feel, lightly fold them so the body is flat but the wings are turning out. Then I figured out my layout, and this part is totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way to place them. And just glued them on with these adhesive dots. I do like how these turned out, and I think they make really cool art pieces that are inexpensive and easy to make on your own or give as gifts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you want to share project pictures, go ahead and follow me and share those on my social links, and if you're on Instagram and sharing them, be sure to hashtag SeaLemon. For more DIY, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel, SeaLemon. For more artwork ideas that you can add to your projects, check out this playlist of videos on the left. For another wall decor project, check out the DIY jean pocket holder on the right. As always, you can find all of these links and more information in the video description below. I'll see you next week.